The story of Magicka is something that most people feel uh, comfortable with and have seen before. It's a evil wizard that uh, threatens the world and a bunch of uh, newly baked wizards have to challenge him, find him and uh, bring him down. Um, the generic setting is um, spiced up with uh, humor and a, a parody, uh, but uh, there's also a grimness to it that's uh, reflected in the spell system. The spell system in Magicka is based on eight elements. Water, life, shield, cold, electricity, arcane, stone, and fire. Um, you can cast them in a number of ways. You can cast them at your enemy, of course. You can cast them on yourself. You can use them as a shield, or you can cast them into your weapon and uh, strike people with it. Um, the combination of the elements is where the system really shines. Uh, you can even combine with your friends, so if you play in a co-op mode, you can combine spells together for, for a much greater effect. That is really, really funny. Classic combinations are, if you only throw fire, you burn your victims, but if you throw fire and stone, you get a fireball that explodes and hits a lot of enemies. You can also combine fire with water to get a spray uh, of steam. Um, and if you make your enemy wet with uh, using water, you can throw lightning out on them and you do extra damage. Unfortunately, that also goes for yourself and your friends. So if you're wet and you're hit by lightning, you also take extra damage. So you might have to throw fire on yourself to dry yourself. Uh, there are many po possible combinations. Uh, and then as you explore the game, you will find new ones that are more effective or less effective against certain enemies. Friendly fire is a big part of Magicka. Uh, you cannot turn it off. It makes for interesting gameplay, tactics, um, you have to avoid hitting your friends at least uh, too hard uh, if it happens, and, or actually when it happens. If you set them on fire, you can douse the fire with water. Uh, your friends, they can heal themselves, you can also heal them. And when a wizard accidentally dies, you can revive them using uh, uh, handy magics. So why don't we have set classes in Magicka? Well, first of all, most people choose a role within a, within a group. Some people will, will try to do as much harm as possible, others will be more uh, protective, some will be quick to revive their fallen comrades. Um, part of why we chose not to have classes is that we want people to be able to choose on the fly what role they should um, uh, assume. So you can move wherever you want, use whatever magic you want at any given time. The reason for that Wizen can't swim is, uh, first of all, I thought everybody knew this. Uh, they're shy, they don't want to be seen without a robe, so they skipped swim school. Uh, that's like, everybody knows that. Uh, the other part is, uh, they can use frost to freeze water, so they can walk on ice instead. So, of course they would do it. I mean, why spend time with being teased, cold and wet with other kids? I mean, that's almost a stupid question actually.